Good morning everyone, welcome to Friday. It's Friday the 13th. Oh sh is it Friday the 13th? Not that I'm stupid, superstitious. Not that I'm superstitious. It's mostly one of those things where I just, I kind of don't do the things like walking under ladders or like passing a black cat just in case. Even though I feel like it only really applies to people who are superstitious people, but I'm like, my friend once told me never to walk over three drains and we were on our way to a concert in Bristol and I walked over three drains just to be like look I'm walking over three drains nothing bad's gonna happen as I finished walking over three drains I was this close to being hit by a bike going 30 miles an hour from the side I stepped into a bike lane without realizing and this bike literally i felt all the hair like on my face like get brushed by this bike and i looked at my friend and i was like what just nearly happened she was like well you just nearly got like absolutely mauled by a bike because you walked over three drains but then i always tell this story because people ask me why i don't walk over three drains and i was like well because this one time i thought it'd be really funny to walk over three drains to show my friend that being superstitious you don't need to be and I nearly got hit by a bike and then someone was like but you didn't and I was like oh yeah I didn't so it depends how you look at it I feel like that was way too close for comfort so I avoid three drains if I can <laughs> I don't know how I got onto this conversation you can tell it's Friday when I start talking absolute waffle I am wearing a clueless t-shirt today which makes me very happy I bought it in the men's section of Urban Outfitters and I've come in this morning just to sort out a few bits and then I think I'm gonna head back it's been one of those weeks where the time feels like it's just been sucked away from me like even now I'm like it's 10 30 but once I get into the office and I start like having little catch up meetings, it's gonna be midday and then I'm gonna have lunch, then it's gonna be like two o'clock, then I've got a call with my therapist at 2.30, which is back home. So I feel like once that's done, it'll be four o'clock and I have a vlog to edit uh, and it's a lot of footage. So that'll take me a while. Then before I know it, it's the evening, then I eat dinner, then I'm tired, then I go to bed. I'm like, at what point in this day Am I gonna sit and write and finish this deadline? Let's see how we go. Uh, I feel like today is one of those days where if I was a coffee drinker, I would drink a lot of coffee. Right, let's go. Then a few little internal meetings and going through lots of stuff. And now I have come in here to have a little look through my PO box stuff because there's a lot of really cool stuff that's come in. Um, so I thought I would pop the camera down and chat through some of it with you because I know quite a lot of you really like seeing some of the new stuff that comes in. So where should I do this? <laughs> this looks very cool. So this is from NARS and it says, Two Zoe, we're excited to share our latest collaboration, the Erdem for NARS Strange Flowers Collection, created in partnership with NARS, NARS's longtime fashion collaborator, designer Erdem. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 There we go. Thank you very much. As you explore the keepsake, you will find a small key which can be used to bring the music box to life. Insert the key into the keyhole on the back of the box and gently wind it clockwise. <gasps> this is so exciting. Let me take the camera and show you. Um, so yeah, this is the packaging. I think it looks really cool. Let's open the box. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, I've opened it up the wrong way. Error. <laughs> okay, so it's this way. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. And then we've got lipsticks in there. Oh, is that the key? Oh, yay! Oh my goodness. I just feel like press releases get wilder and wilder. <laughs> something very pretty little liars about this <laughs> i feel like or maybe that's just because i watch too many thrillers <laughs> so this is the collection look how beaut <gasps> i love it 
these colors in particular are gorgeous eyeshadow colors and these blushes are so pretty this is obviously just the plastic bit on top but i love it so pretty and this red oh my gosh this is called carnal carnation it's so pretty thank you so much nas something new here from benefit gold rush this looks cool oh there's so many things oh our newest addition to the benefit blush family oh and there's a little mini one as well let's have a little look at this and then i actually have to go so i don't know why i started on my peer box because <laughs> i don't have time but look oh my gosh that's so pretty it's like a very corally peachy color with like gold shimmer very nice thank you benefit and annoyingly i'm gonna have to leave that there because i actually have to head back because the doggies need me and i have my skype call so i'll have to pick this up another time when i come into the office but beautiful nas package and some other lovely things which i've got my eye on opening because i don't have time good morning it is finally the weekend ah! yes i am wearing the same outfit i wore yesterday <laughs> because i just love it and also because me and alfie have literally just jumped out of bed and we're going to go for breakfast together so i was like i don't really want to have to think about a whole new outfit right now i'm just going to put on what i put on yesterday absolutely no shame in that i love it so i'm just waiting for alfie now and we're gonna make our way out to go for breakfast and i think we're going to go with the roof off in the mini because i've decided it's a really nice sunny day Look at that sky. Look at that. I wanted to go in the Figaro, but the battery is dead. And both myself and Alfie don't know how to jump start a car. Is that the sort of thing you can Google? I'm not really too sure. Am I gonna die trying to attempt it? Don't know. But now that the weather is getting a lot nicer, I'm gonna be driving that car everywhere, so. We need to sort that out. Why do I feel like this is so zoomed in? Oh, I'm zooming in. Hmm, that's better. I'm so hungry. Buzz has gone home now, hasn't he? He has, look at her. In a little sunspot. So cute. Yeah, he went home last night. Alfie went out and played, uh, what did he play? Poker with his friends, I think. I had quite an early night, which was quite nice. And I had a bath and I had a chill and I forgot to vlog it. I just had a bit of non-vlog time. Blimey, look at these lilies. They've really like gone to town. They look so pretty. They smell amazing as well. Cool. So I'm just waiting for Alfie now. This is the biggest chai latte I have ever seen in my life. It is huge. And I also went for an apple juice and a toasty and Alfie's just on the phone to his mum. How nice is this? Being able to open the doors. Oh, I love it. Do you love it, Nala? Spring is here. This is what I'm talking about. I've just been giving Nala a proper little like pamper session. Cleaning her ears, giving her a teeth chew toy, cleaning her eyes, cleaning her little nose crease. Um, and now, Alfie's in the gym with all his friends. So I thought I would start on my edit. And what better place to sit and edit than with this in front of me. Hey. sofa trying to get a little bit of sun a bit of vitamin d and i'm also listening to bob marley puts me in the best mood where are you i can hear you nala and we have a problem because nala gets fomo if she's not outside with all of us but she's also a black pug so she gets hot really <laughs> easily so she's literally like panting i can't breathe and it's too hot but she refuses to go inside so every now and then I just keep putting cold water all over her and then she gets her energy back and runs around and gets too hot again. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello! <laughs> it's definitely not the like fourth time I've had to film this because they're talking about inappropriate things. If I stop now, everyone knows I'm drunk piss, take it for the team. Oh, no one will ever know. That's the good content you got That's how Bear Grylls started the show. Hot dog. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's She's too hot. Like You're that. too hot. You need to go inside. I don't care. I don't care about sweets. Couldn't care less. Crisps, a little bit. Chocolate, like just having this left out. I can't help myself. You just saying to my vlog about chocolate? <laughs> Alfie, me and Alfie have the same camera, and when he doesn't have a tripod on it, or the fluffy bit on top of his, he just picks mine up. <laughs> so Alfie can't resist chocolate, guys. Can you? Mm -mm. <laughs> I literally can't. We are off for dinner. Cute little date, we had a cute little breakfast date, we're having a cute little dinner date. Gonna go to the pub, have some grub. You need to up your Instagram game, Alfie Days. It's 14 days. It's really funny, quite a few people think that I'm not writing my Instagram posts. I Should am. I that up? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no. Why not? For any of you that might be a bit confused, I'm hiring a social media manager to run the Zoella Beauty, the Zoella Lifestyle, Sug Life, any other like, God, I look tired. <laughs> any other like brands or businesses not my own i'm not hiring someone to run my own social channels i do those i just wanted to put a bit more effort into my captions and like do little like mini updates um but i'm glad loads of you are enjoying it but for any of you that think that's not me and that's a bit weird that i'm writing loads it is me <laughs> i'm also replying to comments on there just because i think the comments on instagram are so lovely and i find it really easy to interact with people that way so that's what I've been doing. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, actually. My Instagram is at Zoella. I did say that a couple of vlogs ago, but if any of you don't follow, there's a little link in the description. You can go down and follow me on there, and then maybe you'll see when I'm having a little, like, comment reply spree. Why do I look so tired today? You don't look tired. Why do I look like an Easter egg today? <laughs> so me and Alfie are now out for dinner. Um, we've come to a little pub. I've got myself a lime soda, which is what I always order when I come out. What have you got? G and T. A little G and T. Well, a big it's not little. Do you oh, remember no, I bought you glasses like this? I know that's what when when I ordered G and T in a pub, I'm always like no one's ever gonna have these. And then just then when she was making, she got this out. I was like, the balloon glasses. Yeah, that's what knows. I think. That's traditionally what G and T should be served in mm. a glass like that. But not everyone does it, obviously. No. So she normally they do like what you've got. Yeah. And then she got this out, and I was like, "Yo." <sighs> got a cheeky little camembert. Oh no, it's got my dreaded raisins on the top. Mm. I have a, I have a if, in case you didn't know, I have a weird thing about raisins and sultanas, um, and these are just so good. Which one are you going for food. first? Oh yeah, thanks. Mmm, <laughs> yum. We're driving home now. That was delicious. But me and Alfie were literally both half asleep and so full. I like, can't. I can't think open my eyes. we should have kind of taken into account the massive plate of bread, the bread, and the camembert that we were eating as a starter before ordering a massive pie and fish cakes, honestly. But those starters are worth it, they're so good. So now we're driving home, Alfie's driving the Mini. Do you love driving my Mini? I do like it, you know. I like it because it's the John Cooper Works, the sport, so it's, it's like It's not the John very... Cooper Works, actually. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's just the Mini Cooper X. No, it's the John Cooper Works. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Check down here. It's just the steering wheel. No. It's not a John Cooper Works car, gorgeous. It it's is. my car. I know it, it isn't. Is. It's not. It's the John Cooper Works Sport. It's not. It is. It's That's just the top spec it's mini. It's just a Mini Cooper Sport. Okay, you wait until you put your flashlight on here. Gorgeous. I know it says John Cooper on the steering hey. wheel, but it's not. They told me that at the time that it would have that written on it. Well, it's, yeah, because that's what it is. It's not. That's like my Nike top uh, isn't Nike. It's just got a Nike tick on it. 
Do you know what I mean? Oh, so annoying. <laughs> My shoes aren't Adidas. Just, Did you see that fox? They just say Adidas. Did you just but see that fox? Adidas. Did you just see that fox? That was a John Cooper Works fox, that was. It wasn't, it didn't say it on the steering wheel. <laughs> didn't say it on his tail. We're heading back, and I think what we're gonna do, because we, we're so tired for some reason, We've had a really relaxing day, I don't understand why we're so tired. Often that happens though. Yeah, when that's true. you do true. less, you become more tired. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna... Sometimes in life you just gotta do more of what makes you happy. <laughs> and we're gonna yeah. get into bed and have an early night. Maybe watch Britain's Got Talent. Play yeah. a bit of Fortnite. No. Hello and happy Sunday. I'm in the car with my boyfriend, Alfred Sydney Days. I don't know if you've ever met him before, but here he is. Tell us two things about yourself that we might not already know. Uh, I was born with an extra tooth. Uh, Were you? <laughs> yeah, you know I was in the middle down here. Oh yeah, you do one. have an extra tooth. And um, I won Sussex Gold Gymnastics uh, when I was 11. Wow. Floor That's really impressive. We are currently making our way into town because today is the Brighton Marathon and we actually came here last year with Holly, didn't we? We did, although I don't remember it too well. Do you not? I oh, got no, I blisters do actually. No, and I Holly don't. bought me a pair of flip flops. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the flip flops, flip -flops gave me blisters as well. It was a much hotter, much sunnier the day. Flip flops were actually. like one pound. Yeah, they weren't the best. So here is where the marathon kicked off in Preston Park. We didn't see the kickoff. Kickoff. We didn't see the start because that was at 9 a.m. But it's currently 12, and I feel like. That's the three hour mark. I feel like quite a lot of people might be finishing around that mark. No way. Do you think it's more than four hour? Yeah, I think like yeah. half four. Oh look, traffic wardens out on full force today. They must be loving it today. Yeah, there'll be so many people parked in the wrong places. <laughs> we thought it would be nice to head in. Oh, the sun's coming out here. Nice. And watch some of the runners. It's so funny because when my, my mum's run the marathon three times, I think. And actually, somebody asked me on my Instagram comments yesterday, would you ever run a marathon? And I do have it on my bucket list. I have to no do one chance. marathon in my no lifetime. Way. My mum started running after, when me and Joe were like teenagers. So if my mum can start running and do three marathons with teenage children, I've still got a bit of time left, is You've what I'm thinking. you time, but is it something you want to do? Yeah. I want to be able to say I've run a marathon in my lifetime and I've got a big medal to prove it. Do you not think that's cool? Run for a charity? No, it's definitely cool, but um, it's a lot of work. Yeah, of course. It's a lot of work. A lot of work, um, but it's not something that I'm planning on doing like soon <laughs> because my fitness level, as you all know, is not the best. <laughs> in fact, it's nowhere near the best at all. It's awful. Um, but. It is on my bucket list, so yeah, I do want to run a marathon at some point in my life. Also, whenever my mum used to watch the marathon on TV, she would always be crying, like really like emotion, yeah. and I used to be like, oh mum, seriously, it's so embarrassing, like why are you crying? And last year when we were watching, like I've never been to the London Marathon and to see any of the runners, but we came last year to watch the Brighton, and it is so emotional. Like I can completely see why my mum used to cry watching it. But also she used to get more emotional after having done it, because she knows what it feels like to be those runners. Mm. I'm just crying because I'm like, oh my god, it's just everyone like, oh, I just need to choke to my drink. <laughs> Every night, lot. Everyone like cheering people on and like everyone's got their names across their like bibs and everyone's going come on Jane Even though they don't know who Jane is hey. the morale is very high and I am the sort of person that gets more emotional at things like that than like sad things like Britain's Got Talent Gets me every time because it's that like You did cry last night whilst watching Yeah, that. I did cry watching Britain's Got Talent last night the golden buzzer act did anybody else watch that? If you didn't cry at that, you have a heart of like stone. You didn't cry at I that. I didn't cry at that. Alfie, I've, I've never seen Alfie cry ever. But I used to cry so much when I was a kid. Maybe I think you I just cried, cried, cried out. everything out. Yeah, I don't think I've got any left. Yeah, I feel like one day maybe the floodgates will open and that'll be it. Everything will make you cry. Do you think? Yeah. How much do you love listening to Smooth Extra? 
not much at all. <laughs> like really not much. Just nipped into workshop. If any of you are in Brighton, you should definitely go in there. They have the loveliest things. I just picked up a little pair of sunglasses. Bodger and Badger. <laughs> Why? What, would you, what would you do if I signed you up for this without oh you realising? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it, and I don't think I could do it. I wouldn't be able to put in the time to train. <laughs> yes, get that. Get that. Wow. We went and saw the marathon. We wanted to cross the bridge, which takes you from the side where the finish line isn't to the side where the finish line is. And the queue, to be fair, put the pop-up shop queue to absolute shame. It no, was- No, it was about even. It was ridiculous, I can't even tell you. Those people will be in that queue to, to cross the road for hours. And then imagine the queue to cross back. You when everyone's so finished oh yeah. no 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 so me and alfie were like let's get some food <laughs> i feel like in typical like form it's like oh what do we do what do we do should we just eat <laughs> so yeah. we went to prep we got some lunch had some lunch nipped into patisserie valerie because it was nearby got myself one of my favorite little cakes haven't had one of those in a while and then we just thought should we try and cross the road should we go watch some more no let's just head home because it's actually quite cold and it's one of those days today i feel like where it's like a cozy day do you know what i mean it's like a sunday cozy day but the weather it's like i want to get in the bath and then put my pajamas on do you know what i mean next week I though ever had that next feeling. week yeah it's gonna be sunny the hottest day though i've got a photo shoot which i'm so sad about because on the hottest day I'm doing something and I'm inside all day. I'm really excited to get back and see our doggy because we've seen so many cute dogs. And now it's raining. That is good timing if Perfect you ask timing. me. And we skipped all the tra- God, that scared me. And we skipped all the traffic coming out which will probably be happening in around an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants me, don't you, don't you? <laughs> Oh, I love her. I love you so much, Nala. Alfie's just nipped upstairs to start editing his vlog. I am eating, oh God, this isn't a good idea. I'm eating my patisserie Valerie cake and I am writing more of my book. Sorry if it gets really boring that all I'm doing in like most of these vlogs at the moment is writing i am putting obviously other little bits and pieces that i'm doing alongside that so hopefully it's not like too boring for you and obviously this will just now be a time lapse but that is genuinely what i am doing so i thought i would vlog i have two little bits left to write i've done all the chunky bits of text now i'm actually a little bit sad that it's coming to an end i'm really really enjoying it but yeah I'm just gonna sit and try and do a bit of this before I then, I think maybe then me and Alfie might film some Sims and then I'm gonna have an afternoon bath, which is like one of my absolute favorite things to do, especially on like a cozy Sunday. Oh, I'm wearing the um, Abercrombie and Fitch jumpsuit that I showed in my last vlog with the white t-shirt underneath, which I also said I wanted to do. And um, I really, really like it. It's a lovely fit because it's elasticated on the back. So yeah, love that. I love you, I love you. I've got real like attachment issues with Nala right now. I can't bear to be away from her. And also I think she feels the same way. We're just stuck at the hip at the moment, aren't we, Pat?
actually forgot to end this vlog so it's technically the next day as I'm editing it but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching as always I absolutely love you guys and all the comments you leave and all the support you give give the video a thumbs up if you would like to be a fellow supporter and uh, I will see you again very soon with another vlog because I'm filming today so you'll probably see that very soon